Hababa. Hello, so just a disclaimer, uh, in the video uh, before you watch it, uh, I want to warn you about the fact that I mix up sometimes some words, like for example, I mix up shoulder and elbow, and sometimes I mix up um, uh, parent matrix and uh, constrained parent, so that's all. I hope I'm understandable, and if you have questions, you can just ask me in the, the comments below. So yeah, have a great video, and I'm sorry for the time the video <laughs> it takes, I'm sorry. But uh, it's really complicated, so yeah. Strap on, and uh, good luck with uh, your rigging project. Hello. So, I'll be presenting to you a rigging uh, sort of tutorial uh, around uh, the subject of how to link uh, the individual ribbon controllers, so those blue, uh, blue cyan uh, controllers, to the uh, to the uh, SK joint chain. So here, like if I go to here, go to IK FK switch, and I can just oh god, I mean no. <laughs> uh, if I just switch, you can see that the ribbon uh, controllers are um, are following. Okay, so uh, this uh, this uh, thing here is applicable to almost. It's applicable mainly to um, it's it's only applicable to uh, organic uh, or flexible like limbs and all, and you can even like uh, use that for a potential lip and potentially lips and all. Like I I don't really know, but at least like in our case we'll be using that for uh, legs and arms. Uh, so yeah, so uh, yeah we we need to do that. You see that if I do that and I just like readjust that one, it will keep the transformation. It will keep the transformation, and that's great. That's really great. So, 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 so. Yeah, we'll be using, uh, we'll be working on the left arm, but I'll I'll be renaming every single thing. Uh, I will be renaming every, every single thing in the pre, uh, <laughs> It's it will the names will be short because I, it's not the thing that I should like um, work on, uh, and so the process. So first requirements. Uh, in this basic video, uh, well, it's not really basic video, but in in this video, I will be working on mainly uh, with uh, blend matrices and parent matrices. Uh, it's mainly parent matrices. I will only use maybe sometime uh, the uh, aim constraint, some constraint to readjust the rotation, for example, of some controllers, or I can use also the parent matrix in one exception, but I will be using mainly uh, parent uh, matrix, which is a more optimized way than some other ways, uh, you know, so yeah. I'll be using that. So what you want to have right now, before beginning, is that you want to have a surface that is almost, uh, that is adjusted uh, in this way, and that has some uh, edges here, some isoparm edges, uh, so that the def deformation is more sharp on the uh, knee part, on the knee part, and then uh, less uh, and then uh, well yeah so that uh, the deformation is is, uh, is more sharp on the, the knee part and then uh, more smooth towards the straighter part let's say so yeah uh, uh, will be uh, and also uh, something that you need to verify before doing this video that is extremely important <laughs> is that you need to verify that your um, chains uh, have the same matrices like if I select the IK shoulder and the FK shoulder they have the basic uh, they have the same uh, the, the same sort of um, they have the same uh, orientation, the same matrices. Um, if, like, you can verify it by switching your axis orientation to object here in the tool setting. Uh, also, the elbow here, you can see that the elbow is the same in both cases, and even the hand is the same. And also, second thing that you need to verify, uh, you need to verify, but it's not obligatory. Uh, you can, like, sort yourself out. I'm going to do those two ones now. There's not, they're not supposed to be here at the beginning, but um, yeah, uh, what you can do, uh, like if you have a different axis here, 
uh, here compared to here, for example. If you have different axes between the shoulder and the elbow, uh, you will uh, you will have not. I mean, it's not trouble, uh, but uh, you will have some tiny trouble and some tiny readjustment to do. Like in here, you can see that I reoriented uh, all my joints so that the uh, x uh, the x axis is aiming towards the next one. Uh, so I don't have a lot of difference between this one and this one. So that's great because uh, and, um, in the process of doing so, uh, you will have to uh, blend matrix uh, to have to, to to make some blend matrices, and uh, with the blend matrices, you'll have to you'll have the ability to make the average between the rotation of the upper part and the bottom part, so that the um, controller is half rotated by the FK uh, the FK knee part or elbow part. But you'll see, you'll see about that later. Requirement, uh, oh yeah, uh, so I need to talk about the process of doing it because uh, right now we'll be uh, working sort of an order that prevents you to sort of deform uh, early on your, um, uh, your, uh, your uh, surface. Uh, and so what we want to do right now is to first constrain all the controllers that so that they are obeying to what we want to to do basically so what we want to do uh, so that like the the controllers are falling and then we'll uh, create some joints and we'll uh, will parent matrix the joints to the controllers that we've constrained to uh, the SK uh, chain and then Afterwards, only after we can bind skin with the joints that we had been uh, uh, created, uh, that we created previously. So uh, maybe to uh, simplify, because I feel like many people, I will lose many people in this uh, sort of sentence that I've just said. Uh, basically, you have the controllers. You have the all the the controllers. So all the oh my God, could you write? Oh no, it doesn't write outside. Oh. I didn't know about that. Uh, so basically, you have all the controllers. Uh, we'll just simplify it because, like, we'll have a fragmented circle. All the controllers that are binded to the SK uh, joint uh, that is here. And the SK joint. So we'll be binded that to that uh, SK joint here, and then. Well, so the, there's a, a clear relationship to that, okay? So we work on the uh, the controllers afterwards, like as you can see, like beautiful controls, and then afterwards uh, we'll create the um, individual uh, individual joints here, and then we'll parent matrix that. Uh, so we'll parent matrix that to that. Oh. Uh, Maybe the, the the arrows, um, maybe the arrows needs to be in the other direction, but it's just to show the order. So the individual, uh, so the, in this case, the joints will copy uh, and um, it will copy the the rotation and the placement of every single controller, and only then you will be able to uh, sort of bind skin that. Only then, if if everything goes well. So that's basically the process of what we'll be doing uh, during uh, this whole video that will be <laughs> quite long, unfortunately. I'll cut the process in two parts. Uh, the first part is going to be mainly on the node editor, and then the second part is going to be mainly, well, it's going to be totally in the viewport. Well, so. Because the first part, we're gonna we're gonna take care of the rotation. Uh, well, we're gonna take care of uh, the, uh, the placement of every. Um, uh, oh God damn it! Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, uh, we'll take care of every um, single position in the node editor. In the node editor, and then afterwards we'll take care of the rest of the rotation of uh, the uh, the controllers. Okay. All right. So now what we are going to do, well, I mean, I can cut the video right now. Uh, yeah, I, I will cut the video. Maybe I'll just do a little break. <laughs> All right. <coughs> I guess we're good to go. Uh, so a little break has ended. Um, now what we need to do right now is to actually do the thing that I said about, like that I, that I talked about for at least eight minutes from what I saw. <laughs> 
So here you can uh, basically uh, make the size of it uh, a bit bigger, let's say. Uh, so here you're gonna freeze root, uh, freeze uh, scale because we don't want any scale in that. Uh, copy that multiple times. You can rename those. So um, F Control F uh, and then uh, search name and all that. So here you can rename the norm circle into ribbon. So here, uh, so in ribbon control. Why not? <laughs> uh, it's not the main part of the video. That, I mean, that is not the main part. Okay, and so here uh, I'm gonna open up that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and use one of my scripts uh, to rename everything correctly. So here I can I have all the suffix and all the prefix, and even all the the group uh, offsets. So here uh, I'm gr I'm good now but pretty good i just need to group every single group offset within one group uh just in like uh just an advice for in terms of organization it's not group in, ma in magic so what so group uh, control controls ribbon ribbon yeah, let's go and so right now I think we can go we, we just need to um, we just need to to go and say hi to the node editor hi node editor how are you doing so hello me from uh, the future so before this section of the video I wanted to share to you this image uh, of uh, the node tree that we're gonna do before that because I'm conscious that some of you may not have the time and may want to skip ahead and do whatever they want to so uh, what I wanted to say before you stop the video and uh, copy the node tree is that the um, the all um, it, it it is a method that only works uh, like it's how can I say that the um, the five groups the five groups that we had created in the first uh, part uh, we um, those are here basically it's one I don't know, so it's like well <laughs> it should be in the inverse but yeah it's five four three two one you can see that those two uh, like uh, those two here are derived from the average between the matrices of that one but be careful the local matrix but the the you can use the local matrix only only if the um only if all the uh, the groups uh, only uh, if all the, the groups of the ribbon control are inside of the same group. If they are not, then you'll have to have to work with the world matrices, and you'll have to work with more multi matrix uh, to arrange uh, to sort of like find a way to um, uh, transition both of um, to to uh, to make an average and to have a correct translation. So yeah just wanted to say that and also like you might have some problems with the shoulder you might have some problem with the shoulder if it is not uh, positioned well rotated correctly that's all sorry uh, back uh, to me in the past uh, so with him we'll go, we're gonna spawn every single um, every single group because we will be working on that uh, first and <laughs> no, I mean uh, we'll also work with the um, with the SK chain, of course. Uh, we'll work with the FSK, uh, SK chain, and then we'll be working with the the parent of uh, the all the, the the different controller. Okay, all right. So now we can now go nose deep inside uh, the node editor. So you now you need to place everything correctly so that you, you don't like it's more clear that here when you spawn in uh, all the um, all the, the nodes they don't spawn in order or in order so you have to re rearrange them to make a certain order so here you have 
um, two, one, two, three, four, five. So I have five controls in my case. Um, and here I'm going to take all the, the controls that are not strictly binded to the position to one of the joints and I will move them on the side. And why is that? Because I'm going to have uh, to uh, do the average matrix between, for example, th for this one, I'm going to have to do the average matrix between this one, yeah, between this one and this one. So this one is basically the, the shoulder, the, uh, well, uh, not shoulder, the elbow part. And this one is the shoulder part here. And so I, I do the, uh, the um, I'm, I'm making the average matrix between the, uh, between the, the, the shoulder and at the elbow and it gives me the position and the rotation of the middle uh, of the middle controller between the the shoulder between the shoulder and the elbow all right so now you can select everything oh just <laughs> press on p guys <laughs> press on p to conserve your node tree uh, and then you press on three to extend all the information about all the nodes that you spawned in pretty practical, but it doesn't work for every single uh, node, unfortunately. So now uh, we're going to use mold matrix. So basically that is um, like, I don't have a script for that. I'm going to do it manually because maybe some people that will that will going to wa be watching this one uh, are not having scripts that can do automatically uh, the, the matrices, well, the, the parent matrices. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be having uh, uh, two of those, uh, two of those because we have to have two, we have to have like three, uh, three transform. Well, I mean, we we have three bones. So, oh god, oh it doesn't. Oh Maya, oh please Maya, it's the second time I've done this tutorial. Please. <laughs> Collaborate with me, um, and so we're gonna take the well. Oh, wait, 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 wait! It's always a good idea to, um, if you do uh, blend matrices between two different uh, matrix, for example, this one and this one. It's always a good idea to multiply uh, in the in the right um, in the right order, uh, the the two one, because you're gonna have some problem if you're gonna bl if you're gonna blend matrix uh, the sum of this one and the sum of this one, uh, you're gonna have some tiny problems in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, like if you move that one. Because what we want to do right now is to cancel the uh, rotation, the scale, and the translation of the, 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 the multi group, let's say, uh, so that when you move, uh, when you move this group, uh, those uh, group here will stay uh, exactly at the same position as, um, as uh, those ones. So, uh, here, I'm going to explain it afterwards. Okay, so we just do that. And then we go on to here, decompose matrix. We're going to duplicate it three times. Well, two times would be precise. But we're going to have three mold matrix. Uh, so three mold matrix for each every in each and every position. Oh, please cooperate with me. Yeah. For every um, for every position uh, of um, for every uh, bone, we're gonna have a decompose matrix. We'll have another decompose matrix, but don't worry, I'll explain. Um, and then we can branch the translate here, here, and here. Only to translate. Uh, so uh, when you have the translate, you can check in. You can see that it is not working. What the fuck is that happening? Why? <laughs> Why? I'm sorry. What? Oh God. Ah, inverse, yeah. <laughs> I've got I've got a little problem. I mixed up the world. Yeah, I mixed up 
some things. Yeah, I used the, the inverse world matrix. So what you wanted to use is the inver in, is the world matrix here and the inverse world matrix because the inverse world matrix will cancel all the translation and uh, the uh, rotation, well, r rotation, translation, and uh, scale uh, to uh, of uh, the disk group. Like, uh, you want to like cancel that. And now it should be working. You see, it's always good to verify if you're... Uh, if uh, your thing, uh, like it's always good to verify as much as possible if your thing work. So right now we have the the sort of the the rotation of all that. Uh, maybe I'm gonna color them to make them a bit more clear because right now it's not really appealing for my eyes. So I'm just gonna use my code and color them like that way. Yeah, perfect. All right, um, so what we need to do right now is to uh, take in consideration also the um, blend matrices. I mean, we can do the rotation because like, we're gonna take care of the rotation of the middle part, the, this middle uh, thingy here. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do make the average between the rotation of that one and the rotation of that one. So here we're gonna make some space between those two nodes and uh, we're gonna spawn in a blend matrix, a blend matrix that will be, uh, that will enable us to uh, do the average. Then just show all attribute, right click, uh, drag, uh, drag and drop, like, keep right click and then just show all attribute because like the three shortcut is not working with that um, with that uh, window uh, blend matrix uh, do that blend matrix uh, here and now you can be able to do 0 0.5 don't forget about uh, the, the envelope like put the, the envelope at 0 0.5 so that it takes half of the input matrix and half of the target matrix uh, and then the compose matrix yeah, three. Um, aha, there you go. And now we should be able to sort of input the rotation. And now if we check that, oh, 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 you see, you see. And now if we do that, uh, you can see that it's obeying of it's obeying the rotation, but half of the rotation of the FK because it's copy, cop, copying the uh, the rotation of that one and also the rotation of that 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 one here. So that's why we wanted to. That's why we we needed to have sort of uh, like similar matrices. Uh, I'm gonna like. Uh, hide the, this window. This is why we want to have similar, um, similar sort of, uh, sort of uh, matrices because it will enable you to have sort of the same. And so, if you want to move that one, it's going to do the average between this thing and this thing here. Like it's going to be the, it's going to be doing the uh, the average rotation. But if you've got something, for example, okay, uh, for example, uh, I think I'm going to solve that. Like previously, I've uh, I've uh, explained it through drawings. For example, so in my case here, uh, I think I'm going to draw it with my pen. Where's my pen? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Uh, here you go. Uh, have I the? No, it's the erase that is on right now. Uh, so what I wanted to illustrate is basically we have this one and this one. So Example, if you have the y axis doing in that and the z axis doing that, and also the y axis of the shoulder one and the uh, z axis of the shoulder one in this case, this case is not that good. But you can get away by creating, by creating, uh, be careful, by creating a locator, a locator in so that's basically the like, yeah, I, I know, I, I don't know how to draw. Uh, and then you put it di directly here, directly here, and rotate it so that, in, uh, so basically you match transform it that to, to the, the bone, uh, well, to the SK uh, shoulder uh, joint. And then you rotate, you rotate uh, the, um, the sort of uh, locator to match to match the um, the uh, the other this one to match this one, so you rotate so that the axes match this one here, 
and then instead of using instead of working with um, instead of working with 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 with, uh, with uh, the SK shoulder joint the joint you will be working with that locator that you're gonna that you have worked with uh, right now so if I control Z everything I, uh, I can control Z control Z control Z come on come on come on come on is it yeah it's it's still it's still some well, I guess we're gonna have a red stain on our <laughs> on our on our uh, viewport. Um, yeah, it hasn't created. So that's why. That's uh, so basically uh, what I've just said. You can basically instead of using the the shoulder SK shoulder joint chain here, you can use another thing that is basically a locator that is well oriented uh, at the contrary of uh, that one so yeah it's it's like it, it's an easy fix as uh, as i uh, said before pretty easy fix the rotation of that one we don't really care about that uh, right now uh, well, so uh, we're going to do those two ones because we didn't like uh, i think yeah uh, where um, I'm gonna take care of those two ones so here what we want to do uh, as I said before is that we're gonna do the average uh, the average matrix between this one and this one okay so uh, what does it mean so how do you do that and uh, yeah how do you do that so um, in this case in this specific case if you've got all your group uh, of controllers inside of the same group here you can use the local matrix you can use the local matrix here or else if it is in another group it is in, in another mother group quote unquote uh, it will uh, you will have to uh, to use the world matrix so in my case I'll be working uh, with the local matrix because it will make the um, it will make the uh, uh, node tree a lot more readable so uh, blend matrix, uh, blend matrix, control D, control D, yeah, control E, uh, and then decompose matrix for both of the two ones that I've just done. So here you can just uh, press on three to show all attribute, but then on this one you have to say show all attribute. I don't know what it, why it doesn't do that at the beginning, but I guess well. Uh, I guess it's just a, a little annoyance, let's say, a little annoyance. So here I'm going to use the local matrix of that one, the local matrix of that one, do the average one. So here, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I will put 0 0.5 after, afterwards. Well, what is important right now is that I uh, use uh, input matrix. Uh, just do all the connection so you can do translate uh, rotate but you can do scale also if you want to have fun but I mean like we will never use the, the scale one but in case like in case the animator just feels like it yeah <laughs> he could break the the, the rig and uh, so yeah you can do that I mean <laughs> you don't have to put the scale here so that like you can potentially but I, I like I like the fact that potentially the the animator can have fun with the rig just break the rig in all the direction and all that because normally you wouldn't like put the scale in here but I mean yeah. whatever <laughs> whatever uh, so uh, basically what we need to do right now what we need to do right now is that oh yes I forgot about that so the envelope at 0 0.5 don't forget about that don't forget about that and now you can see it in the viewport that it's all working more or less fine and you can even uh, play with the rotation of that one and you can see that it's obeying half uh, it's obeying like half of the rotation of that and you can have sort of a, a gradient of torsion between uh, the, um, the gradient of torsion between the shoulder and the elbow like you can even see that it's obeying like the the one in the middle is obeying totally to uh, the uh, to uh, to the um, the uh, to the torsion of the whole arm because like when you will when you hang on hang on uh, how can I say that uh, just extend your arms on on your uh, on the side extend your right arm on the side or left arm I don't know whatever and try to move only 
the the uh, the elbow without moving the hand and you will see that the flesh around the shoulder is not obeying to the torsion uh, at the level of your shoulder and uh, in this case when when you have uh, when you have basically uh, to rotate uh, your arm in torsion it's the only part that is obeying completely to the torsion action is the meat around uh, the elbow so uh, how can I illustrate this I can illustrate this by just oh no I lost my customer yeah let's do Let's do it. So basically, I have a pole vector here for the leg, and you can see uh, if I hide the human. Okay, I'll hide the human. You can see here that the knee part is the only part. You can do basically the same thing. Just stand up and just try to rotate your uh, to try to rotate your um, your uh, your knee, and you will see that the flesh around the pelvis won't be moving and the flesh around the, 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 the feet won't be moving because like okay anat anatomically correct uh, and like it's anatomically uh, accurate to have like an, a bone because like how can I say that inside of your arm inside of your shoulder you will have still your bone rotating but what we are rigging is not the interior of the bone in rigging we are rigging the exterior of the flesh and the flesh is not obeying to the rotation oh well, let me write it <laughs> uh, oh ah yeah perfect uh, so um, um, no 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 yes okay so this part of the flesh so if this part is rotating that way sort of speak uh, if this part is rotating that way the flesh around the flesh that will be around here won't be rotating with the bone inside here it won't be rotating so that's why I wanted to mean, to mean, and so that's why we need to use aim constraint to sort of do uh, do do uh, this job of always orienting this part of the the arm towards the shoulder, but without the uh, torsion action, without the the torsion of the arm. Okay, all right. Perfect. Uh, now it's a great part. It's a great occasion for me also to potentially do a break because we have just finished the first part. The first part, which is completely. I mean, if you want to really finish the first part, you have to rotate all the things uh, correctly so that it doesn't have a lot of difference uh, in uh, in terms of um, torsion. Uh, so here, right now, okay. The first spot is finished. Now you won't have to deal with uh, the node tree anymore. You will only have to deal with uh, the uh, the aim constraint and potentially parent and all that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stop and do a little break. See you then. So we're back, back, back for more. Uh, so we'll be doing the second part uh, of uh, the uh, second part of uh, the uh, link between um, link between 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 uh, the controllers and uh, the the SK uh, joint chain. So first, what what you're gonna do is to create um, because like we're gonna use a lot of aim uh, constraint, and so often it's really practical to always have an up up object and uh, an object that enables you to say to the aim constraint that the up vector needs to go inside of one direction like you have two vectors so here you can rename them like um, aim up let's say okay and up uh, and then you'll spawn four because like we ha we had already taken care of uh, the, um, the the one in the middle we had been already taken care of that so we don't really um so we, we don't need uh, an aim constraint for this specific one because it's already like uh, obeying to the rotation the complete rotation of uh, that stuff of uh, our chain and this one is going to be in the fifth one so for, in terms of order it's better to have this one uh and so we're gonna have um to move those to be uh, to be parented to the things that we're interested in so this one is going to move up 
uh, to the SK shoulder because it's going to be uh, inside of the. I mean, it's going to be inside of the shoulder, uh, but it must not be in, uh, parented to the the SK shoulder. It must be parented to something that is like SK clavicle. That is basically the parent, uh, the parent to um, from the the thing, from uh, the um, ah, the parent of the shoulder. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm struggling a bit. And then the fifth one, the last one, is going to be on the hand. Uh, so we're going to, this one is going to be directly binded to the SK hand, which is here. And so this one is going to be like, we're going to cancel and we're going to move that one over here. Uh, aim up, so not aim up. So here you can uh, move that one here also. Uh, I hope. Have I done it right? Yeah, I think I've done it right. Yeah, I think I, I did it. <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, you need to uh, to uh, to uh, like move it in this direction. So why do I move it in this direction and not? the other direction so not the other direction i will show you so not this direction because when you will move that one here the up vector will enter inside it will enter inside of the arm and it will flip uh, your entire ribbon so you don't want that to happen so what you want to do is to because like of course, the animators, um, I mean, uh, I'm going to reposition it correctly so that I can show you. Uh, of course, the animators, when they will be animating, they won't be animating the hand going like that because that is anatomically incorrect. And if they have that in the inside the animation, the animation is not well done. <laughs> so uh, uh, you never have this sort of mistake. So that's why you put always this one here. Uh, you can always put this one here and so that's basically well, what what I wanted to show you is that we have two different methods we have the uh, uh, aim up object so that's basically the first method that is the easiest one to get uh, easiest one to, to get because um, because like it's, it's just like a bunch of, uh, of uh, locators that just says to the uh, aim constraint to aim in this way uh, but the problem is that it has some limitation and the main limitation of that it's that uh, the aim vector can reach up to uh, can reach up to the uh, the the other side of the ribbon which will flip the uh, the direction in one 180 degrees your uh, your ribbon so you don't want that to happen so what you want to do is to move it in the direction in which your animator is gonna l bend it less let's say because like of course like if you do it this way the locator stays inside the same the same direction like it, it's in the same direction and so the the anima the, the ribbon uh, won't have any problem uh, rotating it and, and this way so yeah all right, uh, what we'll be doing uh, now, what we will be doing, what we will be doing, oh, that's a good question. Uh, well, we'll be taking care of the, um, the, the elbow part and the hand part first. We'll be doing uh, that, and then the second time, in the second time, we'll be uh, doing like uh, taking care of those two ones here. Uh, don't worry, uh, it's gonna be there. <laughs> We're gonna be uh, uh, having fun with that, don't worry. So uh, right now uh, we need to open up, really important, we need to open up aim constraint. And now we need to play around with the axis. So I think, I think I'm gonna do first this one. Uh, you can see that, um, yeah, so basically, I, I mean, I can draw through to, for some people, for some people that like don't really understand, I can draw why uh, the the thing here, is, where's my, oh yeah, that's my pen. Um, basically, uh, you want this, uh, this thing, so this circle here to aim in this direction. So of course it's gonna be in profile. So that's the, maybe the bad thing about uh, what we, we, did, we did right now. Uh, what we're gonna have now, uh, yeah, so the uh, the circle sort of like we want that to aim in this direction. 
the circle will stay in that direction. It will only be rotated in just a tiny bit. It will only rotate a tiny bit. We want to aim at the offset. Right, be careful, the offset. Like we will apply the aim constraint to the offset because like we don't want to constrain the controller because the controller is there to be moved and you can't move something that is constrained. But we need to tell the aim constraint uh, to uh, rotate in some direction because right now, if I rotate that thing, you can see that the hand, like the, the hand of course is tilting behind the, the window here, um, but you, you need to have you, you need to to have uh, to follow the, the torsion of the arm if you if you do that. So you have to uh, to have an object up. You have to have an, a locator or something that will aim at this one also. So that will be basically so that's the object up. Uh, you need to select if you want to activate that because like there's scene up, there's none, but also there's um, there's object up, and if you want to use that, well, I mean you have to activate it like this way. And so if you want to reuse it, uh, I'll just select it, see where it is inside the area key, and then just delete that, drag and drop with middle bows, and then I'll be able to uh, sort of um, integrate the name of uh, what the path of, uh, of the object here. So right now we set it up, uh, the object up to this object specifically. But uh, we need to take care of the vectors. You need, uh, you need to take care of the vectors uh, of object up and also the aim vector. Because right now you can see that when it is rotated more or less correctly, uh, the um, the uh, red arrow is in the uh, opposite way to what we want to aim. So that means that we're going to aim with the negative x, a vector that is equal to negative Hello, hello. That was weird. Uh, the the video had cut it. Um, well, <laughs> OBS is not uh, had cut itself. Okay, all right. Uh, so what I was talking about uh, the aim vector that is going to be uh, equal to negative x, and so um, the up vector is going to be equal to one because you can see that. Uh, the pole, the uh, not pole vector, but the uh, the locator that we place is inside the direction of uh, the um, the y axis, like it's the the green arrow. Don't forget uh, if you have uh, like if you have some quite weird stuff, you can always like check on the tool and you set it to object. So you can uh, like set it to object here, uh, and here you can like if you set it to, to object, you will be able to uh, to witness. Uh, oh, <laughs> I can't see that. Uh, you will be able to witness the uh, the true uh, rotation of that. Okay, all right. Uh, so uh, now I can select uh, basically the thing that I'm um, uh, that I'm like constrained. So the thing that I want to aim. I need to first select the thing that I was that I want to aim, and then the thing that I want to apply the rotation on, and then click apply. And you see that now you've got yourself a rotated thingy. Yeah, it's rotating in the right direction. Okay, all right, perfect. Uh, and also, like, there's only this part, only this part. Yeah, you can see. Aha! You see that. So that's a problem that happens if you flip, if the 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 um, if uh, the uh, the uh, locator or the object that you're using for the up uh, object goes in the other direction. You really have to be careful with that, and you have to place well this object that enables uh, the the computer to say, okay, it's the up vector is over there. All right. So now I have to <laughs> erase every single. Uh, remove frame, yeah, re remove frame, yeah, that, perfect. Uh, so now we have to work with the, with the um, this one also. Uh, we'll have to work this one, so it's going to be aim vector one, aim vector here, okay. Uh, and uh, we'll do basically the same thing. We'll check about uh, the direction in which you need to aim. So here you need to aim in x positive because you can see that the arrow is pointing towards more or less 
well it's pointing exactly towards the exactly about uh towards the the um the elbow part so we just have to control just select what we want to aim and select what we want to apply the rotation upon change the x i haven't changed it sorry <laughs> Uh, here and then we should be good. We didn't see any difference of rotation because we were already like rotated correctly. In here, you can see that the rotation is good, and we ha even have like this torsion action between between the uh, the shoulder and the elbow. Like we have a progressive torsion. This is what we want to. Uh, this this is basically what we we want to have. It's basically that the. the uh, have the rotation. So we're halfway through there. We're halfway through there, more or less. But I think it's better for me to sort of explain the other method right now, right away. Because what we have now is that we have an object, and I've said to you that uh, indeed when you have an object, um, how can I say that? Yeah, if you have an object, uh, if you have a, like an aim vector, and if you go uh, among the, uh, if you go uh, pretty close to uh, the the up vector in the direction of the up vector, because like you can see the the up uh, object here, uh, you can see the up object, and if you go here, you can see that the control is flipping. But in reality, you should be able to like rotate. You should be able to stretch in this way without the flesh flipping. I mean, yeah, that's that's totally not logical, isn't it? Well, it is not logical. <laughs> it is not logical. And there's another way to do this. Now, this way is a bit more complex. It's a bit more complex because it it uh, like requires you to use parent constraint. Okay, that's the only time that you're going to use parent constraint. That's the only time. So... Uh, basically, what you need to have is instead of having, uh, instead of having, uh, for example, uh, so shoulder pivot, shoulder pivot, yeah. So you need to add, you need to add uh, something, uh, a locator that is exactly at the same matrix, at the same matrix. Um, it has the same like world matrix as the shoulder, um, the sort the the SK shoulder. But the thing is. It needs um, it needs uh, to uh, to not be parented to that so that it doesn't copy uh, so that it doesn't copy the it, it doesn't copy the rotation. So right now the locator is that I had that I had the initial uh, same matrix as the shoulder one is not copying uh, always the the, 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 the oh, well it's not copying the uh, the sort of uh, stuff. Well, it's it's not like copying the rotation, like the locator here is staying in place. Like if I rotate here right now, I just see, okay, yeah, the, the matrix uh, has, be, uh, has been changed, which is logic. And then I just see that one, you can see that there's a difference. There's a clear difference because like this one is, um, is clearly, well, I mean, yeah, you, 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 you go, I mean. Uh, so I'm gonna reset that controller. I'm gonna reset that controller and not use that one. I'm not going to use that one. So I'm going to delete uh, the aim constraint. And so first I'm going to parent that one. Uh, I'm going to parent that. So here, hear me out. Uh, you have to uh, select that one. So you want to parent uh, the ribbon uh, the ribbon group, so the the group of uh, the group offset to the locator here that is not copying the rotation. So already you you parent that to that. Uh, so constraint parent, I suppose maintain offset. Yeah, uh, you need to check maintain offset. And here you can see that if I rotate the thing, it won't move. But if I rotate the shoulder part. It will move with it. It will move it with it, with it, which is a good sign. Like you need to verify it. You need to read to verify it to make sure you don't like mess up something. Okay, so I'm gonna reset uh, the controller, and now within the within the group, the the group that is uh, parented to the locator, you need to create another group that will be the aimer, the group that will so group aimer one. 
it's going to aim. So uh, this time, you're not going to use an object up for your thing. You're not going to uh, use an object up. You're going to use um, you're going to use nothing because your um, your uh, initial position is always good. You you always have to. I mean. I can't explain it. <laughs> I can't explain it, but I mean, it works. <laughs> it works. So uh, I can just do that, apply, and then you should be able to have a correct rotation and be able to do that sort of stuff. So here it's twisting normally. It's twisting normally, which is what, we, what we're waiting for in this direction you can see that it's not flipping you see that it's not flipping and there's a certain thing that I need to explain in particular but uh, I don't have the words right now to explain it and I don't have the brain right now to explain to you why it does it work but in my head it does work for a certain reason so I'm sorry if I'm I can't be able to, to explain it to, to you so yeah, we've uh, solved the problem of uh, the flesh around of uh, the uh, shoulder, um, the flesh around the shoulder flipping. We've solved that. So you can use those type of stuff with, uh, you can use the second method that is a bit more complicated uh, for uh, some purposes uh, where the art articulation is almost like uh, doing um, like full 60 uh, like 180 degrees uh, rotation or full 360 degrees of rotation because right now like the the, the shoulder like the shoulder is really a complicated uh, compl complicated uh, articulation and so you can basically like rotate in all direction like you can verify like the, the range of rotation and you should be able to understand that you um, you need to, to have like you, you should be able to understand the difference between the for example the axis of that which is not like full of 60 degrees rotation because in this direction you can't rotate that much but in this direction you can rotate that much but in this direction you can rotate also that much not in that in that way but in this thing here you can rotate in all direction that so that's why it's so mind-breaking that's why it's so mind-breaking Okay, all right. Uh, now we have one last thing to do, and uh, I think I'm going to put a little break here. I think I'm going to put a little break so that we don't have uh, <laughs> too much uh, heavy, uh, heavy video with uh, with ourselves. And so yeah, I mean you can do whatever I did right now. And so uh, we're gonna after um, take care of those two ones here in the middle those two middle uh, controls yeah see you then all right uh, all right uh, here we are last stretch last stretch I swear last stretch don't worry <laughs> uh, so now we'll be taking care of uh, the um, of uh, all the uh, middle controller here uh, so we'll be using some uh, aim constraint uh, so um, of course like aim constraint what comes with aim constraint is also uh, object up and some well in our case it's object up so we link that one in the ribbon two. this one here also so basically what we want to do is to say to the aim vector so uh, I'm gonna like uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm, maybe I'm gonna first tell the reason why we do an aim vector because it might be not that uh, evident for most, for some people. Some people might not get it why we do that. And we do that because, oh, I, I need, wait, 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 I need to just move it in that direction because last time I drew on it I uh, yeah I didn't have enough place so right now uh, our surface is flat completely flat uh, grease pencil yeah grease pencil okay uh, our, our surface is completely flat there's only this point that is a bit sharp and this point here uh, that is the end uh, so basically, on the origin position, those things are straight, not like my uh, my uh, my lines, but uh, I swear they're straight. 
Then, if you go here and you rotate it, you want that thing to be straight. Oh, oh God, uh, I wanted to draw. Uh, you want that thing, that thing to be straight. Well, it's not going to be straight because you can see that those objects are influenced by by like they're doing the um, half of the rotation of this thing and they have the rotation of this uh, thing sort of like no the, this thing here and so instead of having a straight line here so here for for now like you you uh, because like you can see there's a certain the the, um, the, the 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 controller here is moving in a peculiar way that will rotate uh, like it's it's rotating something weirdly and the effect of that at the end if you don't want if you don't do any uh, aim um, if you don't do any aim is that you're gonna have yourself a surface that is curved this way if you bind skin without any uh, without any uh, sort of uh, uh, aim like that. If you bind that without any aim, it will have a curved surface uh, like that. And it same thing with the other part. It will have a, sur a curved surface like this, which we don't want because I mean, <laughs> human the human body is not moving like that. So that's why we are doing uh, this right now. That's why we we are doing this so that we prevent this uh, this thing from happening uh, and we reorient this one directly to uh, towards the, the this part here the, just like where I did right now uh, is it rotate? no it's not rotated god I can't see I can't see a thing uh, but yeah so for that we have to uh, just like what we did for the uh, aimer at um, at the, uh, the the shoulder bar, we should have to uh, create a subgroup inside of the ribbon uh, that will aim at uh, the um, that will aim. So group aimer two that will aim at the elbow part. So here is control is group uh, aimer. There you go, and then okay. So that will be the group which will obey to uh, the rotation. So here we check on that. Uh, we check on the axis. Uh, we haven't moved yet all the things. So yeah, I'm gonna just do that. And why do we need? So you might ask because somebody asked me in the, in the class. Um, somebody asked me about the fact that why do we need that that locator? Why why do we need it? Well, we do need it to have a sort of halfway torsion to have a halfway tor torsion between um, between the elbow and uh, and the shoulder for example you need to have the rotation halfway through there uh, and all that because like if you don't have any locator uh, it will sort of bug out I, I guess so like for me it's more logical I mean maybe you can sort yourself out without it because you already have you already have like the the um, you already have uh, the the right axis and all that but uh, still uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do like an up vector because it's more easy uh, it's easier conceptually to do that with an up vector because you need to tell the um, you need to tell the, the actual um, the actual constraint to aim in a certain direction so yeah I'm gonna do that uh, okay so now I'm gonna choose the one that is gonna aim so no I'm gonna use I'm gonna choose first this one and this one I'm gonna verify all the axes so here I'm aiming towards here I'm aiming uh, towards the um, the uh, the X positive and the up uh, vector is at Y and so indeed it is at Y because I can see that the yellow which should be green the yellow um, the and the, with the yellow arrow is uh, pointing towards the up uh, object and uh, I need to set it to up object to, for it to work uh, just select that one I think I need to drag and drop with middle mouse um, middle mouse sorry and then yeah there you go there you go so now it's totally obeying and then when I bend my elbow it's not rotating that stuff, which is what we're searching for, which is what we're searching for. All right. 
Um, so now I reset that one. I'll do the same, but for the other one, it's a bit trickier, but because we are aiming with like X negative. So X negative, X negative. I, ah, I don't want to move it. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, so X negative, uh, we choose that one. Yeah. Um, X negative, X negative. Thank you, OBS, for cutting myself, I guess. Uh, so uh, we, we were here at the uh, So apply, and then you should be good. Now you have it. Now you have it, finally. Finally, you can have everything you wanted to. Every, everything. These, oh, it's awesome. It's really awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, we don't mind, don't worry. <laughs> I mean, you're basically breaking the hand. If if you do if you do that, you're breaking the hand. And you can see like if you like bend the hand beyond this way, it's uh, but we're going to see that more easily with the if we bind everything. So, now we create uh the joints. Uh, now I think like from this point the last stress has, has, has passed like if you want to no, okay all right, all right. There's, there's something that you might have said along all the video and said Marcel Marcel you need to reorient your controllers and all that yeah I know that I know that but the thing is the thing is wait 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 wait, wait. ah shit off oh. sorry for words uh, so the thing is if you angle the circle in this way, it is. Uh, if you angle the circle in this way, it's really easy to see the torsion of your arm, and you're really working with that. If you're working with uh, uh, the um, with uh, the ribbons, because like you really want to preserve the the rotation, the sort of uh, not the rotation, but uh, the torsion. You want to preserve the the torsion of the uh, the shoulder. And then uh, afterwards, like you, you work with uh, the torsion and all that. Like the, there's a lot of things about torsion, and you want to work on torsion, and it's easier to see to see the torsion with circles that are in profile like that. Uh, so yeah, now you are happy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I've done it. Uh, so yeah, there, there's no problem with that. And now we should create uh, the uh, joints, so you can create them wherever you want to. Uh, so instead of naming them, uh, instead of naming them uh, joint one, joint two, joint three, you're just, uh, I mean, ribbon uh, control one. I guess, I guess we can like just. Maybe SK, yeah, SK ribbon control. Okay, all right. Now we can copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. All right, and now we have our five things. And then I'm gonna select uh, five to one, uh, five, uh, four, three, two, one. And then I'm gonna apply my handy, handy code. Wait, ah. Oh. And now we should be able to see those. Aha, you see? Yes, see that? Okay, now we had uh, like binded uh, the controllers to um, the, the, well, we had binded uh, the joints to the controllers. You can see like the little sphere at the, the center here. And now finally, what we can do is that we can bind skin the, control, the joints that we had created with the surface that we're working on since the beginning of that uh, lesson. And then, so bind skin. Usually, I put three, but two works also. And then, now, it's bending! Yay! Finally, isn't it? Eh, finally. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's a sec it's a success, and you can see that there's uh, a progression, uh, progressive uh, torsion action happening on the, the, the forearm when we are twi twisting the wrist, which is the thing that we want to. So this is basically a machine success. You've uh, created, um, maybe for the first time, I don't know, but maybe you've, you've created your, um, your thing, finally.
and um, well, right now it's moving because uh, it's uh, it's doing that. Uh, but if I reset it, it's it will be not moving. So from here, <laughs> I've said it uh, at the beginning of the at the beginning of the this video. But if you have uh, a, an IKFK switch and suddenly you switch to, uh, for example, uh, FK. Uh, and your ribbon suddenly twists, uh, then that means, well, if like a part of your t uh, ribbon twists, that means that uh, your um, <laughs> your uh, matrices between uh, IK and FK are too different, and that means that whenever you're t switching, the SK, uh, the, the SK is basically doing a rotation in that direction, basically, for example. So yeah. That's the only problem that there is. Uh, I think there's no limitation uh, for this kind of uh, like way of doing it. There's, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with what I did. And I think like, I didn't encounter any problem yet on my stuff. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, I can like just do, uh, yeah. I mean, have fun, yeah. yeah. That's basically the end of the video. I, I hope it worked for you. I really hope it worked for you. Like. Rigging is really hard. <laughs> Rigging is really hard, and I really hope that this video helped you uh, along your way of being a good rigger and all. So yeah, have fun uh, with uh, what I just. Uh, you can even like create script out of the process I just like talked to you about. Uh, about God, it will be a, a one-hour video. God damn it! That's that's gonna be so long. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so I hope uh, it worked for you. I hope you followed along. And uh, so if you uh, if you stick to the video and up until now, I just I pay your respect because my God, it's one hour and a half. And yeah, well, I uh, I hope that you're gonna like rig things correctly <laughs> and all. So yeah, uh, sincerely, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs>